Good day everyone. Today we will discuss a new topic that is about illustrating simple and compound interest. We have two objectives for this topic. First, we need to illustrate simple and compound interest. And the second one is to distinguish between simple and compound interest. And to start our lesson, let us first define some important terms. Okay, the first one is the lender or creditor. Lender or creditor, it is a person or institution who invests the money or makes the funds available. The second one is called the borrower or the debtor. A person or institution who owes the money or avails of the funds from the lender. And the third one is the origin or loan date. It is a date on which money is received by the borrower. Okay, now let's... Okay, and the fourth one is called the repayment date or maturity date. This is the date on which the money borrowed or loan is to be completely repaid. And the fifth one is called the time or term in symbol that is T. This is the amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested. Length of time between the origin and maturity dates. And the sixth one is called the principal or in symbol that is letter P or capital letter P. This is the amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Now let's proceed to the seventh term. Okay, the seventh term is the rate or in symbol that is the letter R. This is the annual rate, usually in percent, that is charged by the lender or rate of increase of the investment. And the eighth one is called the interest or in symbol letter I. This is the amount paid or earned for the use of money. And the ninth term is called the simple interest or in symbol that is I sub S. And this is the interest that is computed on the principal and then added to it. Okay, now let's proceed to the 10th term. The 10th term is called the compound interest or in symbol that is I sub C, which is the interest is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interests. The 11th term is called the maturity value or future value or in symbol that is letter F. This is the amount after years that the lender receives from but from the borrower on the maturity date now let us all take note of this one the rate or R is expressed in percent thus do not forget to convert it to decimals when used in the computations the time or the symbol t is normally expressed in years in cases that the time is expressed in months or days do not forget to convert it to its equivalent number of years now let's have an example Example number one. Suppose you want 10,000 pesos and you plan to invest it for five years. A cooperative group offers 2% simple interest per year. A bank offers 2% compounded annually. Which will you choose and why? Now let's first solve the 2% simple interest from the cooperative group. Now, let, let us first discuss the simple interest. Kung kani ang ato ang i-take nga offer, 
pilay ma kuha na to na interest from our winnings na 10,000 pesos. Now, here is our time. Sanesha dere. Gara na kabutang atong time. Next is the principal interest rate. Time pila katuig. Principal pila winnings na to or pila tong gi invest. Interest rate pila interest rate ti offer sa cooperative. The next one is how we compute the simple interest. This part here is the solution. And this part here is the answer. And this one is the amount after T years or the maturity value. Now, sa permerong tuig, in year 1, of course, sa principal, kausara ta mo butang 10,000 sa simple interest. Kausara siya ikaw. Ang interest rate is 2%. Sa atong solution, that is 10,000, si principal i-multiply sa interest rate. Si 2% equal na siya ni 0 0.02. Tapos, ang atong time is 1. So, the answer is 200. 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 1 is equal to 200. So, our maturity value, 10,000 plus 200, that is 10,200. Sa ikaduha nga tuig, kung duha na katuig ga, gani, same amount, 10,000, 2% ragya po ng interest rate, pero duha na katuig. So, ang solution of that is 10,000 times interest rate times years. So, 2 na ni siya, kay duha naman katuig. Dili lang hilagdan sa 10,000, 2 years na siya gibutang with 2% interest rate. So, 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 2, that is 400. So, si 10,000 plus 400, ato maturity value is 10,400. Pag-abot ng 2 years. Now, pagka 3 years, tulong na katuig, same interest rate, 2%. So, si principal, i-multiply sa per, uh, interest rate. And sa time. So, ang solution that is 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 3. 3 kay 3 years naman ang 10,000 gi-invest. So, the answer is 600. So, ang maturity values, si principal plus interest, that is 10,600. Now, let's proceed to year 4. Sa so, ikaw pat nga 2 eh. Same amount, 10,000, and also parihas lang ang interest rate, 2%, pero upat na katuig. Okay, so the solution is that 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 4. Okay, upat na katuig si 10,000. So the answer is 800. So 10,000 plus 800, that is 10,800. Now, let's proceed to... The fifth year, sa ikalima na nga tuig, five years man ni mong invest ni mong 10,000 with the same interest rate nga 2%. So, ang solution, 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 5 years. So, sa 5 years, i mong 10,000, ang interest is 1,000 pesos. So, 10,000 plus 1,000, your maturity value is 11,000 pesos. Now, let's proceed sa investment to magi offer sa bank, which is a compound interest. Okay. Same sa, sa investment one, sa tong simple interest, na tay time, principal, interest rate, ang compound interest, na dras sa solution, ang atang answer, and the amount after the years or the maturity value. So, first, Sa itong pirmerong 2A, we have 1. That is 1 because that is the first year of investment. So, atong principal is 10,000. Atong interest rate is 2%. Now, atong solution, i-multiply na to si 10,000 times 2% times 1. 
2% is equal to, again, 0 0.02. So, kung i-multiply silang tulo, the answer is 200. So, the maturity value, i-add si principal o si interest, that is 10,000 plus 200, that is 10,200 pesos. Same sa simple interest. Okay, pero meron pa man to eh. Pero, pag sa second year, same principal, uh, pero, gidungagan na siya aning 200 nga interest. So, kanina itong sundun dere. Dili na ang principal sa ibabaw, kundi ang maturity value sa previous year. So, 10,200. Mauna na siya. Then, same interest rate, 2%. So, i-multiply na to silang tulos. Kani si time, principal, and interest rate. So, interest rate, again, that is 0 0.02 kung si convert to decimal. So, the answer here is, nga nung 1 raman. Question is, nga nung 1 raang time. Because, ang interest sa first year nga 200, i-appeal naman na to dari sa principal sa second year. So, 1 radio na siya dapat dara. Okay, so the answer here is 204. So, ang interest na 10,200 is 204. So, kung i-add na to si principal and interest, that is 10,404 pesos. Now, sa ikatulong at tuig, ang atong principal, kanin na si maturity value na 10,404. So, muna na atong principal. Interest rate is the same nga 2%. Tapos, i-multiply na to si 10,404 o 2% o 1. Nga nung 1 again. Kaya again, ang interest gaari sa second year, gaari mo na may gigamit nga bago nga principal sa ikatulong at tuig. So, i-multiply ni mo ng tulo. That is 208.08. So, kung i-add si 10 1,404 of 208.08, that is our maturity value, which is 10,612.08. Now, let's proceed to the fourth year. Si kaupat na nga tuig, pero ang atong principal kaninang bagong maturity value, which is 10,612.08. Now, parihas ragya po ng interest rate. 2%, di lima usab ang interest rate. And, i-multiply si principal and interest rate and 1. Yan nung 1 again, kaya ang interest sa previous year, gi-add na sa principal para sa 4th year. So, we multiply ang answer ani, this is 212.24. So, i-add si principal na 10,612.08 plus 212.24, that is 10,824.32. Mauna ni imong total money sa ikaw pat na to eh. Now, let's proceed to the fifth year. Ang principal dere again is kaninang previous maturity value, which is 10,824.32. With the same interest rate na 2%, so, i-multiply sila. That is 1 again, 1 rajud kay ang interest sa previous years, i-appeal sa principal. Okay. Now, so i-multiply ni muning tulo, this is 216.49. Now, if you add 10,824.32 and 216.49, the result is 11,040.81. This is the value of your money na 10,000 after 5 years kung compound interest ang gamiton. Okay, now let's compare simple and compound interest. So, I have here the results as simple interest. After 5 years, your 10,000 becomes 11,000 pesos. And sa compound interest, your 10,000 becomes 11,040.81 pesos. So I have a question. 
What are your observations in simple and compound interest? Yes, simple interest remains constant throughout the investment term. In compound interest, the interest from the previous year also earns interest. Thus, the interest grows every year. So, sa compound, ang iyahang interest sa per mayroong tuig, mag-interest na po siya, appeal ang iyahang principal sa sunod tuig. So, muna si compound interest. Pero sa simple interest, iyang interest sa first year, di li appeal sa second year o kwenta para sa interest sa, isa, sa sunod niya tuig. That's it everyone. I hope you have learned something. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your quiz.